What's going on guys? Coming to Justice here and today we're back with another GTA 5 tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So today guys we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you guys just how to install some uh, plugins here and, and mods there. And today we're going to be installing Script Hook V, okay? And this is by Alexander Blade. Now, Script Hook V is a very important mod that we all have to have. This mod actually runs a lot of our other mods for like LSPDFR, uh, GTA 5 Real Life mods. That's what this mod is for. Tomorrow I'll be showing you guys how to install ScriptHookV.net, and we're going to go from there, okay? But as of right now, let's go ahead and get in this guy's. Um, go ahead and click that link there. So Script Hook V. It's going to bring you this page right here by Alexander Blade. We are going to scroll down, guys, and click download right here, okay, where my cursor is. Just click download. All right. And it says, what do you want to do with Script Hook V? Uh, guys, you can click save to put it in your downloads folder, or as I recommend, click save as. Go into your file explorer here under where it says this PC and click desktop. And then click save. It'll put it right on your desktop for you, okay? So now that we've got that downloaded, let's close out of that. Uh, okay, so you're going to have to have your GTA 5 main directory. Now, the way you access that, guys, is you pull up your file explorer. You're going to go to this PC right here, which is this PC. You're going to select the hard drive in which you installed your GTA 5 on, okay? I'm going to select mine. Then you're going to select Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then right here is your GTA 5 directory. Yes, guys, I have a lot of copies of GTA 5 because I do a lot of different types of modding, so... Uh, right here is your GTA 5 directory. Now, if you guys would like to uh, save this location, all you have to do is right-click on your directory right here, highlight that Grand Theft Auto 5, and then send to the desktop, just like this, all right? Now, close that out, and then grab this file right here. This is your directory, so if you open it up, you'll see your directory, okay? So you're going to grab this file right here, and you're going to pull it down to your file explorer and pin the file explorer just like that, okay? That's how you're going to do it. Once you're done doing that, guys, you can right-click on the shortcut there, and you can go ahead and delete that, all right? Now, the way you get to it, fast access, is you go to your file explorer right here and right-click on your mouse, and then go up and find that Grand Theft Auto V uh, right here. See, there's mine right there. Just It should just say Grand Theft Auto V right there. You click it, there's your directory, guys, right there, okay? So let's get right into this. Go ahead and double click script hook V right there. It's going to be a pretty quick installation, guys. Oh, my mistake. Sorry about that. Uh, go ahead and pull up that uh, script hook V. It's going to bring you to this right here. You're going to double click where it says bin right here, okay? Double click that. If I can get it to do it. Now, we only need two of these files, okay, guys? So you're going to need the, the, top, the bottom one, the script hook V.dll. Then hold down your control key and highlight the dmput 8.dll, all right? And all you're going to do, guys, you're just going to grab these. You're going to drag them into your main directory just like this, and you're going to drop them just like that, okay? And now they are in, all right? I'm going to hit refresh in your directory just like that. I'm going to close out of that, all right? And then that is pretty much it, guys. So your script hook V will run a lot of your other mods um, that you put in the game, like your LSPDFR. Uh, well, not your LSPDFR, but yeah, it does help with your LSPDFR. Uh, it runs your simple trainer for you when you get that or any kind of real life mod just basically any kind of mod You put in a GTA 5 script hook V is there to help run it. That's what script hook V is for it supports those mods Okay, so anyway guys that is about it with that one uh, tomorrow I'll be showing you how to install script hook v.net and then we'll kind of go from there into LSP FR tutorials again And I might do a couple of uh, episodes for you as well and maybe another dirty cop but, guys, thank you so much for tuning in my video. I really appreciate the love and support. I will leave my Google Docs in the description, and my PayPal will be done as well, guys. If y'all could throw a few dollars my way, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, guys. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.